So today, I'm taking you all down memory lane, okay? So when I was younger, like a teenager, right? And anytime I came back from school, like, you know, to Tifisa, Awunye Shui, and there was this lady called Awunye, who is like a kenke um, vendor or a kenke hawker, right? So she would go around selling her kenke instead of her being like stationary, okay? So she one day told us how she made her kinky and that has inspired me to make this kinky recipe for you okay so i'm going to share with you all about it so let's get into the video right now So yeah, the making of this kinky is the same as normal kinky, okay? The same measurement, the same ratio, okay? So um, the uncooked one is going to be two parts and then the cooked one is going to be one part, okay? But a twist here is the cooked one, right? Which is this one you see right here. is going to be half of it is going to be condo and half of it is going to be cassava dough. So that was how this lady told us she made her kenke. She said, I add cassava dough to my kenke because her kenke was amazing. Her kenke was like, they be our kenke no so. It's like the kenke lights up all the time. And the kenke was our sleeping tablets, I tell you. <laughs> okay, so the same process of making kenke, I have about two kenke recipes on my channel. And I must confess, I have one foolproof kenke recipe coming your way. I promise you that will be my last kenke recipe. If I ever make a cake recipe again, I just said my board and pick cake. Okay. Anyway, so our flatter is just going to literally going to be like bangkun because it has cassava dough in it. Okay. And make sure that this part of your kinky, all right, is well seasoned. It has enough salt, possibly in cream kakra, because you're going to mix it with the dry one. And that is all the season. That is the only opportunity you have to season your kinky okay so yeah we are not going to let it cook the same way it's just that we've added cassava dough that's the only difference okay and if you struggle with making kinky getting the right way this is the way that you can make it and you always get it right because the cassava dough is going to do the work for you but disclaimer here this is not how we originally make kinky or the authentic kinky there's no cassava dough in it right but i when you added it she told us Mini Sister Lydia, to be specific, she, she told us she added cassava dough, and I'm just replicating that recipe for you here, okay? So that's how she made it, and I don't know if it's an, it is a crumble or a, a dang, gah, dang big thing, I don't know, but yeah, that's how she said she made it. So I'm not saying that's how it, the gans make it, no, please. I have other gang kinky uh, recipes, okay? Go and check that out, okay? So yeah. Once the bangkun was cooked or the aflata was cooked, I mixed it with my dry and this is how it looks, okay? You make sure that it is well incorporated and it's mixed and you form it into bowls. If you have any difficulties following this recipe, right, just concentrate on the dough ratio, right? I have two kenke videos which you can, I, I mean like I followed the recipe to the latter and, um, commented on it or made a commentary according to what was happening here i'm just talking over it just telling you about this kinky it's, i'm not really following what i am doing okay or like sort of tutorial teaching you i'm just showing you what you can do okay so if you're having any difficulty just refer to those videos and you get detailed detailed tutorial of how to make kinky and to form it into balls in your leaves and everything okay so yes you just form that into balls and i'm going to show you another one some people to be honest some people they are like once i'm here i'm watching this i'm not going back to watch any other video and i understand so it's always good that um you just follow what i'm doing so it's just watch and learn you know sometimes it's it's not easy trying to explain what we are doing right but then yeah by watching you can actually do the same anyway make us do so all my balls are formed and we are now going to cook our um, kinky. 
right? So I put some of the leaves, the rest of the leaves, the small, small ones that I couldn't use to mold the kinky, um, the bottom of my pots, and then to make some bed be for them to sit on. If you don't do that, your kinky will bend. Trust me, they, I don't know, it will bend. Yeah, so I filled it and I added some water and yeah, covered it with more of the leaves. Now, the, the kinky now, I catch also have that recipe coming. I'm now coming to make that kinky. I said, my short leaves. I hope I have some lying somewhere. I have some. I have some. So, yes, I have some lying somewhere. I have some. I have some. So, yes. You boil it, you boil it, and I, I cooked it for about two to three hours, right? And because it's not a lot of kinky, so in Tianse, a busy swatch. Once it becomes nice and soft, that midway, like an hour, when you go in and you touch this kinky, you see the resistance. Right? But then when it's nice and soft, then you know that it's ready, okay? So I want you to just pay attention to the texture of this kinky. I have, at the end, I'm going to show you four days after I made this kinky, four days after. I will show you how the kinky now kinky is still as so the kinky still lights up as such as a such as it's on and uh, it's light up on now they're being a so crying above for crack and so a malleable <laughs> so yes i have this tilapia fried tilapia purposely for kinky recipe too i will share that with you quickly one day so don't worry it's a short video very delicious the seasoning is amazing okay hey i hope you are all doing well i didn't ask that one yay but i believe you are all well in jesus name i'm also well thank you for joining me today i really do appreciate all of you for all the support you give me and i hope you enjoy this video i hope that your kinky woes are over so this is four days okay and look at the kinky look at the way you see the kinky is not breaking breaking it's all like you know still malleable right it's nice and soft even though i've not even warmed it right all right, so thank you all for joining me and um, I hope you give this a try and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, you just snitch, man.